Well, I promised you guys another pro book video. So here he is, back and ready for more. And, as I said in the last video, I'm going to be doing an installation of a CD drive. Because this boy, for some reason, didn't come with one. And, you may be wondering why I actually need a CD drive. And the answer to that is that it's for iTunes. Because I listen to a whole bunch of music from different genres and years. So yeah, that's what I mostly need a CD drive for. And I also want one because it would just be kind of funny. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, we should probably get on to the video. Because this boy isn't going to install it himself. So let's flip this boy over. This boy is so big that I have to take it out of frame to flip it over. Set him down nicely so I don't ruin the skin. And here we are, the bottom of the Pro Book. Looks like we obviously have a few screws to take care of. What else was I expecting? So we obviously need the screwdriver set, which has held up pretty well, I will say. Now, the screws in the bottom are about Phillips head 01 or 1. At least, I think. It looks like this one's gonna work just fine. And of course, we also need the screwdriver itself. Now that we have our screwdriver ready, we need to get something else important ready. And that important something is the glorious magnets. These help you keep track of your screws so you don't lose them. Anyways, let's take the back cover off. It should just pop off, right? Come on, don't break. Please don't break. Okay, it's hard to do this while it's in frame. I'll be back after it comes off. All right, we're back and the back plate is off. Now we use a slightly smaller Phillips head bit and unscrew all the screws holding in the battery. So I'll be back after doing that. Now the battery should just lift out of the device. And there we go. The battery is out of the boy. Now we use the same Phillips head to unscrew the run screw that connects the CD drive to the device. The screw should have a picture of the drive next to it. And then the screw should just come out. Now, using a non-metal tool, push the metal tab next to the screw hole outwards, hopefully disengaging the CD drive. That worked pretty well, actually. Now you can just pull out your old CD drive, or lack of one in my case. Yeah, no wonder that part of the laptop didn't weigh anything. It's just made entirely of crappy plastic. I wonder why it didn't come with a CD drive in the first place. It doesn't really matter though, I'm installing one now anyways. Here's the new CD drive, and as you can see, it's not a placeholder one. It is a bit more beat up though, so hopefully it works. Anyways, let's install this boy. You just put it in the way you took the last one out. Make sure it's in all the way. There we go. And then you just put everything back on in reverse.
Then when the base is on, make sure you click it into place. I'll speed this up for you guys. And there we go. Now this boy is put back together. Now let's flip it over and test the new CD drive. It's a good thing that it didn't scratch the skin. What am I thinking? I need to turn on this boy first. Ooh, the CD drive is making some positive sounds. Let's unlock this boy. There we go. It's unlocked. Now I should be able to press the button on the side. Ooh, it worked. Also, the more I look at this drive, the worse it looks. Whatever. Let's see if it reads this random disk. To the desktop view. Come on, CD drive. I believe. Wow, that was fast. And this boy has some stuff on it. It's really old Windows programs from the 90s and early 2000s. There's a treasure trove of stuff on here. I wonder if any of them still work, but I'm afraid I'll get a virus. Hmm, should I or should I not? Yeah, let's not do it. I just got this boy. Pretty cool that it has some old software on it though. Let's eject this boy. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that fake CD drives are cheap. And if you want to see a video about what was on that CD, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.